Video Productions. What's up, YouTube? All right, so I've had a lot of people come to me in day-to-day -day life and ask me about this knife. What is it? Where did I get it? All these other questions. So I'm just gonna make a little video about it. This is my EDC knife. Uh, so it is a Topps Knives knife and I'll go into it uh, a little bit more. First of all, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, I know there is a beeping noise that people have commented on before. Uh, yes, it is a smoke detector. Yes, it is somewhere in the attic. And no, I'm not gonna find it. <laughs> uh, here, we don't, even, we don't even hear it anymore. So, we just act like it's not there, but I do hear it in the videos, so just whatever. Before I go into the a uh, little description about this knife. Let's see how well it cuts open this famous smoke shop box. All right, what do we get here? We got some some Garcia E. Vega 1882 bourbon, bourbon flavored cigar. This thing actually says, like Backwoods? Try 1882. Ooh, you like Coors Light? Well, you'll love Miller Light. Kentucky Chair Root Sampler. And we got these ugly coyotes. We'll be using this nice tobacco leaf ashtray today. Ah, tobacco goodness. I made a video to demonstrate what this knife is capable of doing. Go ahead and watch that right now. All right, you guys want to see what this baby's made of? that off. I'll kill them to work. Okay, so in all seriousness, this is this is the knife. Uh, this is my really shitty paracord job I showed in the EDC video. First time doing it, not very good. All right, this knife is sharp as shit. It's actually a really good EDC knife. I brought up before that these loops have multiple sizes. You got uh, you got three different sizes. You can't see it there. You got three sizes and it's on the largest setting. Part of that is due to the fact that the paracord takes up some space. And uh, I'm using um, a gun belt, usually for my uh, everyday going to work. I also have some other belts that are on the larger side, so they require that. Um, but let's just go ahead and here and go over the specs to, uh, to this knife. It is a combative ring knife with a utility style blade for field use. The curved handle and ring of a carambit, can never say that word right, provides superior comfort during combative use and a traditional drop point blade profile is ideal in the field. The aggressive tip provides for maximum penetration during combat, allowing the cut 4.0 to penetrate body armor and heavy clothing much easier while also being useful for drilling chores during field craft ask. The Cut 4.0 was designed with professional personnel in mind, but will also make a great EDC for civilians and martial artists who like the diversity of a dual purpose knife. Okay, so the knife type is a fixed blade, overall length eight and a half inches, blade length four and a quarter inches, cutting edge four inches, blade thickness 0.190 inches, blade steel is a 1095 RC 5658, Blade finish, black traction coating, handle material, tan canvas, micarta. Handle style, dragonfly, tread, knife weight, 6.3 ounces. Weight with sheath, 9 ounces. With paracord, 10 ounces. <laughs> sheath included, yes, sheath material, kydex, sheath clip, beta loop, designer, Joshua, Shawana Wanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanawanaw
So anyway, I read you the specs of how long it is. Uh, it's legal in this state. I don't know what state you live in. I don't know what regulations are, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, made in USA, made in America, right there. Right there, made in America. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, just wanted to make that video for you. Just wanted to make that video for you guys because a lot of people have asked about this knife, so when they ask me, I'm going to refer to them to this video. Um, if you like what you see and you want to see more of it, drop some comments below what you want to see. And until next time, peace out, bitches.